Hey guys, welcome back as always, my name is Lazar and today we're gonna be taking some time out to talk about recharge weapons or battery weapons and reload mods because I see there's a fair bit of confusion so it's time to clarify, shall we? Let's talk about the Fulmin, you guys know the Fulmin, it's a fantastic primary weapon, one that I recommend to basically everybody, look at the cards right now, to see the full power of this glorious, glorious weapon. Now, you see the Fulmin doesn't have any magazine reserves in the sense that it doesn't have any ammo pool of sorts it just has its own magazine and the weapon does recharge automatically okay just like a lot of other weapons do especially secondary weapons that are equipped with something like pax charge for example now there is a trend among the community that you can use reload speed okay just increase that reload speed to stupid levels so you can perma fire all the time which is Kinda true. Take a look at this. Let's put prime fast hands on the weapon. Normally it has 1.0 reload speed. Now it's important to understand what the hell does this reload speed actually mean on recharge weapons such as the full min. It represents the delay between the weapon stops firing and it starts recharging. It doesn't represent the amount of time it takes for it to fully reload. In the case of the full min, it needs two seconds to fully recharge its 60 magazine capacity, 30 ammo per second, that is the speed. But it needs that one second like a delay to start uh, recharging and all whatnot. Okay, so let's test it like this, let's see how it goes. First semi, then auto, and semi mode, this would be it. As you can see, my ammo goes to zero, then I have to wait for it to get fully recharged. The total time that I need to wait is three seconds. One for the bloody thing to trigger, and then I need to wait two full seconds to get to maximum 60 magazine capacity. Of course, I don't need to do that. I can start shooting at the middle, for example. Now, let's see what happens if we put on some reload speed on this puppy. And the best reload speed mod that you can get is fast hands or prime fast hands, of course. Now, normally... Prime Fast Hands is a mod that I say, hey, listen, it does have its uses because it does, but it's not prio one when it comes to battle. First, get your critical chance, critical damage, damage, multi-shot, that kind of uh, mods, and then think about Prime Fast Hands. Now, let's see what happens. We went to 0 0.6, but again, this represents the delay. With the Prime and Fast in the hands, and here you go. Ah, I'm still going to zero. I still can't fully cycle the reload so I can perma fire all the time, unfortunately. And let's switch to automatic mode as well. This would be auto. As you can see, I don't have the delay. And if I don't have that delay, of course, the weapon is not going to be able to start recharging. Okay, it starts the delay exactly when I stop firing. But if I fire all the time, that is simply not going to happen. So what I can do to test out this uh, theory and all whatnot is decrease the fire rate, basically. Yeah, I know it's not the best idea, and why would you even but bear with me? There is a point to this. Eventually, there will be a point to this. So we're gonna go with the mod that I never ever fucking use, Vile Precision, and you shouldn't either. It's minus 90% weapon recoil at the cost of 36% fire rate. It's a horrible mod that needs a full rework, but it does have its uses in this video, once and only. But anyway, critical delay as well. Critical Delay is a mod that I know a lot of you guys like. It's useful to line up the recoil of a weapon to the fire rate. For example, with that old sniper rifle. What's it called? What's it called? The Snipetron! Yes, I just forgot. The Snipetron Vandal. So again, it does have its uses, but as a mod, it's extremely underpowered. I mean, 48% critical chance would have been enough. Just give me that without the minus 36% fire rate. Because if you were to compare it to the normal crit mod for primary weapons points, I mean, you see this. Right, okay, this again needs to be refought. So let's check it out now. My fire rate has gone down from 2.17 to 0 0.607, and my reload is at 0 0.6. Let's see what happens. Look at that. <laughs> my weapon fully recharges between shots. But so bloody what? I completely gimped out the weapon. It's not really all that usable like this. Let's try an automatic mode as well. Look at this. In automatic mode, because the fire rate is a whole lot higher than in semi mode, I still don't have the 0.6 second delay for it to start recharging. So, not really worth going through all this trouble. 
What about secondary weapons though? When it comes to kit guns, they have one very, very powerful advantage. They can use one arcane, a specific arcane. Check this one out, my friends. It's called Pax Charge. You should know it by now. Battery recharge delay is reduced by 50%. Basically, it transforms any kit gun into a recharge weapon or a battery weapon, whatever you guys want to call it. So let's check it out first without Pax Charge. I think that would be ideal. I got 11 in the magazine and 70 as a ammo backup. And as you can see per shot, I'm consuming one. I gotta press R to reach load my weapon. I already have on this weapon modded with um, Prime Quick Draw 88% reload speed. And we also got stunning speed with 40% reload speed, which is why our reload is at 0 0.7. Now, if I was to use this specific arcane, there we go, Pax Charge. Let's see how the weapon acts. Take a look at that. It fully recharges the weapon before I get to run out of ammo, which is fantastic. Again, there's a bug, however, when it comes to Pax Charge, and I can't fully reproduce it all the time, but basically sometimes it wants the user to press R for reload, okay? It won't self recharge sometime you need to press R. You still don't have any issues with ammo, but you will have to press R from time to time. I don't know why this bug happens, but it's Warframe asking about bugs in Warframe, so there you go. Now, in this case, if I have such a fantastic advantage, then I can play around with fire rate, right? That means that if ammo is no longer a concern, the easiest way for me to get high DPS is through fire rate. Basically, that's what we do with any higher ma high magazine rifle or something like that. For example, the Soma Prime or the Tenora or the Prisma Gorgon, etc., etc. So let's go with Lethal Torrent, 60% fire rate. Just like that for now because I want to see I want to show you guys exactly what happens uh, because I increased my fire rate I no longer have the necessary delay for the weapon to start recharging which is a bit of a bummer as you can see I will go down to zero and I will start having issues the only way to further be able to kind of go in this vein is to get even more reload speed but from where a Riven I think we're taking it a little bit too far. We already got Prime Quick Draw and Stunning Speed on the weapon. So as you can see, it's cool, but it's not really all that usable. I mean, even if you are not to use Lethal Torrent to increase the fire rate, which you should, you're already rock locking yourself into two mods, Prime Quick Draw and Stunning Speed. I don't think it works with Prime Quick Draw alone. Let's test just for a second. Oh my God, it stays exactly at 10. Take a look at that. So it would work with Prime Quick Draw. That is the exact delay there. There you go. You can try something like this. Oh, we went down to 9. That's interesting. It's just under the delay. That's that's awesome. Or better said, just over the delay. That's cool. So you can try something like this. And of course, you will stop firing for a nanosecond. And then the ammo will go back up. It's an option. What? It's a solid option if you never want to worry about ammo. And if you want to transform your weapons into basically perma-fire. Perma-spam, if you will. There is a weapon which takes advantage of this the best, however, and it's called the Shadow. It's a brand new weapon. Uh, check out my upcoming uh, guide video on it. It will come next week, most likely. So this one, <laughs> this one is amazing, has a reload of 0.4 seconds, my friends. And when it comes to primary weapons, of course, we got Prime, Fast Hand, 55% reload speed. Take a look at this. Yeah, it can permafire. It can permafire. It keeps the... Uh, uh, magazine topped off, which is fantastic, which means let's try out with more fire rate, shall we? How hard can you hit? There's one problem with these reload weapons, however, and I'm not sure if I forgot to mention it or not, but they can trigger, cannot trigger reload effects. For example, let me show you right quick, spring loaded chamber. This one says on reload, okay, you're gonna be getting yourself 75% fire rate when aiming for 9 seconds. It's above on the upper right hand side of the screen. As you can see, it will never trigger. Another good example would be Arcane Awakening, okay? As long as the weapon doesn't have the animation necessary, you know, press R and it goes through the whole thing, it can't trigger effects such as these. So bear that one in mind. Now back to fire rate. Yes, yes, mama, more fire rate, please. How about... We slap on Vile Acceleration for the heck of it. Let's see if the weapon can handle it right like this. Because basically at this point it becomes a balancing act between reload speed and fire rate. And as you can see that's way too much fire rate. I cannot get my magazine topped off. So I will have that small delay. What if I go for even more reload speed on primary weapons? Yes, well, let's see. What are the options? Well, we don't really got any options, so there you go. With the base fire rate of the weapon, you don't even need prime fast hands. 30% from fast hands will be more than enough. Check it out. You see that? It's still 
holds the magazine basically topped off. So again, you don't need prime fast hands, you don't need to max it out. If you do want to max it out, however, this one will cost you about 40,000 endo. And even after all this, I still think it's a prio too. So how much fire rate so we can balance out everything and all whatnot? Let's think about it. We could not go with Vile Acceleration. Let's try with the smallest amount that we can with Shred and 30% fire rate. And we also get the punch through. Works. That's on the money, baby. You see that? That is on the money. If you go with even more fire rate, you're going to have trouble because, again, you will run into a wall where you need to stop firing. Not that it's a big deal. So what? You stop firing. Let's try the next step up would be Vigilante Fervor with 45% instead of 30%. Let's see how it handles like this. It goes down. And it goes down quickly. So basically, the normal version of Red would be an ideal balance between... Uh, prime fast hands and uh, fire rate. Basically, that's a huge DPS increase. If you get a Riven mod that gives you something like fire rate or gives you something like reload speed, now you know you can actually work with it. And I do believe, my friends, that is pretty much it for today's video. Now, of course, I was using Harrow because Harrow has his 2 ability, which will give you reload speed and fire rate. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Stay tuned for my Shadow review. As always, my name has been Lazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you got any sorts of feedback for me, or if I missed anything, because I'm human after all, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to read the feedback. You can also catch me on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, all the usual places. And if you love the content, consider supporting us via Patreon. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.